So let's say that you have a million dollar startup idea, but you're not quite sure how to get started. Maybe you don't have any coding experience and you're not a developer. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can build an app with no skills required. This is going to be a longer tutorial walking you through step by step in this process using a platform called Lovable. Now, look, we're in 2025 and that means that AI is taking over and we're at a point now where you don't have to pay developers to build a minimum viable product and to build a product that you can take to market. And I'm going to show you some really incredible things that you can use with Lovable to build your very first app with no skills whatsoever. So let's go ahead and get started with it. If you have questions along the way, feel free to uh, ask them down below. But this is super exciting. And I'm going to show you every step of the process here. So in the past, if you wanted to build a startup and you didn't have any coding experience, you would have to go out, find a developer and pay them sometimes tens of thousands of dollars just to build a product that we're going to spend half an hour building right now using this platform. And this has totally unlocked so many different things for people who don't have technical experience to be able to build really incredible things at a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the time. So this is just something that's really incredible. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to lovable.dev. I will leave a link to it down below in the description if you want to follow along in this video, because even though there's no technical skills required to use this and to build your first app, it still can get a little bit confusing and that's why I wanted to do a longer tutorial on it. So you're going to go over to lovable.dev. You're going to create an account and then we're just going to tell Lovable what we want to build. And this could be any variety of things. Maybe you want to build a web app that is going to work as like a stock screener for your investment portfolio. Or maybe you want to build a web app that can analyze PDFs and put them into charts for you. You can really think of anything that you want to build, any type of app, and you can simply just ask it to build it for you. Now, there's going to be some more steps along the way and I'll show you how to do those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the first prompt of telling Lovable what we are looking to build. And so for this video, I think what I want to build or what I have in mind is something that can track my fitness, especially maybe my weight journey. And maybe I want to gain some weight, right? Or maybe some people might want to lose some weight, but I want to build a weight tracker where someone can enter in their weight every day and it's going to track their weight. And maybe you can add on some other features as well, like a calorie counter or something like that. Um, this is just one of the basic examples that I'll do for this tutorial. All right. So what I just did is I entered in some important information because the first prompt that you're telling Lovable of essentially what you have in mind of what you're looking to build, this is going to be the most important. And so you want to be very clear on what you you are looking to build. So I gave it a one liner here. I'm looking to build a simple user friendly web app that allows users to track their daily weight gains and losses. And then the core features of this that I want, I want user account creation and login. So I want people to be able to, you know, each person can do this on their own. They have a password, they have a username, then they can log in every day. I want the ability to have daily weight entry and this date I want to be auto filled so that they can just plug this in. And then I want visual graphs and weight trends over time, right? This is going to help people out a lot. And then I added some other things as well, like an optional uh, goal weight and progress tracker. I told it to have a clean minimalist design. I can say maybe if I want specific colors, maybe I want this to be white and blue more white and purple. I can just tell it right there. And of course, remember that you can change all these afterwards. You can tell it to, you know, if it comes out and you don't like the colors, you can tell it to change that. And then I gave it some other pointers of some nice to have features that would be easy to implement, like a reminder notification to log your daily weight and then dark mode as well, which would be really cool and then having the ability to export that data as a CSV file, if that's something that people want to do, right? So now that I have this prompt laid out and I have everything that I want it to understand, I also would consider adding some images for designs that you like. This is really helpful for if you're trying to get a specific type of theme or design. So what I've done before in the past with Lovable is maybe there's a website that I really like the way that they have the site created and I'll just either paste in a link for it or I will take some screen shots and attach images of that website. Or if you want to add your logo in here, uh, you can attach those images as well for that. But let's also go ahead and just make sure that we name it as well. So let me do that now. All right. So I just named it Santrell Weight Tracker just for the purpose of this video. I'm sure you could come up with a much better name. And then once we're set with that, we can just click on the button right here. And Lovable is going to get started to creating our 
app here. Now, this is just the very first step of the process. Um, there's going to be some more intricate things that we're going to have to do, but it's essentially writing all of the code for us right now. And we can talk to it kind of like how you would talk to chat GPT on specific requests that we might have, but it's telling us specifically what it's working on in this first version that is implementing a clean modern dashboard with today's weight and progress, right? It's doing all these things for us. And it says it's going to be using a calming blue and green color palette that feels health focused and trustworthy. So, you know, I, I actually should have told it specifically what colors I think I don't want blue and green. I might want like white and green, but I'll see what it comes up with first. And then I will tell it to tweak some of those different things. All right. And so just within less than a minute, we already have our base model here that Lovable has created for us. So it already looks really good. I mean, I don't even know how much of this I want to change. Let's say that we want to make some changes to it. We want to add some different features here. But what's really cool about this is that you can just talk to it if you don't like something. So let's say that I don't like this button right here. Maybe I think the color is kind of off and I want the color to actually be like a red color. So let's tell it right now. Okay. So I just asked, can you make the log today's wait button red and it should take care of it for us. And there we go. It just changed that for us right now. That was super easy to do. So this is the basics of it. But now what we actually have to do is we're going to have to add some different functionalities. So when you are building any type of app or even websites, this is essentially coding one one and understanding website development or app development is that you have a front end and a back end, right? So on the front end, we have this nice looking site and we can just tell it to change anything that we like it to change. But in order to have functionality, we have to think about some things on the back end. For example, how is the data managed? Uh, but also are people able to log into their account? There's all these different functionalities that we need to take into consideration. And in order to do that and make sure that people can actually use our app, we're going to have to connect to something called Supabase. So uh, you'll see it up here in the right hand corner. And once again, you can just ask lovable. So let me go and ask it just for example here. How can I set up uh, the ability for people to create accounts on this app? Okay, so I just asked it, how do we set up the ability for people to create accounts and logins for this? And it told us you're gonna have to connect to Supabase. So Supabase is open source. They have an integration with them. So all we have to do here is we are going to click on this button right here in the upper right corner. You'll see it's kind of like almost looks like a lightning bolt or something. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna create a Supabase account. We're gonna connect it. And then we're just going to enable authentication on Supabase. Um, and then once we do that, it will help us to add those logins in and sign up forms on our app. So let me just click on that here. I'm going to click connect Supabase, and then I'm going to authorize API access for Lovable. This is going to allow you to do a lot of different things. So I'm going to authorize Lovable right now. All right. And so since I already have a Supabase account, it is going to be connected right there. I'm going to click on continue. I can create a new project. Let's say I want to create a project here and I, I'm going to call this the weight tracker project. And then I'm going to click on create new project after I create a password. Okay. So I'm inside of Supabase now and I can go over to the left hand side and I can go to authentication. And if I click on sign in slash providers, we'll see that we have the ability for people to enter in their email to create an account here. So let me go back to lovable. We're going to connect this right here. So we're going to click connect to the weight tracker project. Okay, so the project is connected. And now what I can do is X out of this and I can tell Lovable, okay, we have connected Supabase. And it actually already knows that, which is awesome. And so now we can work to create those user accounts. So yes, I want to do this. All right. So I asked it, how do I actually set up authentication? Because this is something that it told me that we need to do before we add any other features. It's probably smart to take care of that. So I simply just said, you know, what, how do I set this up? Maybe I, I don't have any experience. How would I go about this? And so it told us that it's going to help us actually set up this authentication. And so if you do understand this, you can analyze it, make sure that everything looks correct, and then you can apply those changes. Okay. So they've completed those changes and now they're going to tell us what they've done but also suggest that we should probably disable the email confirmation in Superbase that like when people sign up for this weight tracker, they don't have to confirm their email before getting into it. So if we go over to Superbase, we can just change that. So if we click on authentication and then we go to sign in slash providers, and then we go down to email and we can disable that right there for confirming email so that um, they can just instant access it if they're doing it for the first time. It's also easier for us when we're going through and testing this app, right? So let's go ahead and and just try it out and see if this works and then see what problems come up along the way. So I'm gonna have to sign up. Okay, so I've just created an account. Okay, so I just signed in 
just like that, right? So that worked. We have this ability now to create accounts and sign in. So let me ask Lovable what else we should do on the back end for building this out. Okay, so now that we have the ability to create logins and create accounts, let's test this out and see how it's actually working. So let's go ahead. It's starting with zeros here. Let's log today's weight. So today is June 11th. Let's say that my weight is 170 and I can even add notes on here as well. And then I can save that entry. And we can see now that uh, there seems to be something that is not working properly. So let me go ahead and try to fix that. All right, so it just took a little bit of time to get going there. So we'll have to monitor that closely and we can always tell lovable to change something up in the code if it's not working properly but that is the wait for today let's say that we forgot to um, change the weight for yesterday so yesterday maybe i was 169 pounds and i can say how was i feeling great and then click save entry okay so this is working super well i like the functionality on it we can have our weight goal maybe let's say that i actually am trying to gain weight and i want to get to 180 pounds so i can type that in and it looks like there's a problem there on that there is a zero there so i can just tell it right now i can tell lovable hey on the goal weight section i can't get rid of the zero when i'm typing in my target weight okay so i just told it look i can't get rid of the zero is this an error and we're going to ask it and see if it can take care of that for us so that users don't have that problem as well okay so i told them what the problem was they admitted that they did make an error and that it should work properly now so let me go ahead and try to enter that now my goal weight is 180 pounds click update goal and great it works so that's really cool and we have the ability to see our progress towards our goal and this hasn't updated yet so maybe i want to tell lovable to look into that and see why the goal progress is at zero percent how is that formulated on the progress we can go into the specifics on that and so everything's looking pretty good we're going to go through and just see what else we might want to add we can see our notes here all right so there's just another little tweak that i wanted to do um i don't really like this logo up here the way it kind of just looks like the transition from blue to green just i don't know looks kind of tacky to me so i told it change that please so it's going to take care of that so once it takes care of that now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to ask lovable is there anything else you think we need to do maybe that i'm missing that could be really important before we make this app go live so they did update that for us i told it to make it all blue it just looks cleaner to me so let me ask lovable now is there anything else you think we should do all right and so they told us some of the things that we should do honestly i kind of forgot about some of this and it's really important like for example mobile most people are probably going to be using this on their phone and this is just built for desktop. So let's start with that. I want to build this for both mobile and desktop, make sure all the margins and all the functionality still works on people's phones. And then also let's add data validation. Now, what I've noticed with Lovable is that you can tell it to do all these at the same time, but you're better off just doing one at a time so that you don't break anything. So if you give it like 10 different tasks all in the same prompt, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. It could break some things. I, I know it could work also, but I prefer to just do one at a time one task at a time so let's tell it let's add data validation and then on the next prompt i'll tell it to make this for mobile as well and i'll ask it please because ai you got to be nice to it all right so they've went ahead and made sure that there is validation here for weight anywhere between 1000 and two or between one and two thousand pounds it can't be anything more than five years ago and then you'll see error messages if it's outside of that so it keeps it working properly and so i said thanks now let's just go and make sure that this looks good on mobile and we can go through and just continue to chat with lovable to see what else they think we should do before we launch this to the public and then once it takes care of this i'm going to show you how to publish this you can get custom domains for it and how to actually start marketing it and getting it out there into the world so it looks like it attempted to build this for mobile but there was an error so let's click on this and see what the error was we can ask it to try to fix it and so this is something that i mean if you were going back and forth with a developer this would be something that would probably take them a day to manage all of this to find the errors to fix them and this could cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars for all these little errors that could be popping up whereas with this i can just quickly within 10 seconds ask it to change that for us and it looks like it worked so 
they fixed it for us, which is awesome. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and publish it. Now, when we try to publish, we also could see some warnings from Superbase. So if we go over to Superbase and see what the warnings are on this. So we have leaked password protection disabled, and then also the one-time password set to more than an hour. So these are kind of minor things, but we can go ahead and change those as well if we would like to. But let's say that we just want to go ahead and publish it. So I'm clicking on publish right now. We can also get custom domains. So if you click on custom domains here, you can either add an existing domain. So if you already have one and you want to just connect it there, you can do that. But we just shipped it, right? So this is our minimum viable product. We can go out and try to raise some money for it, some venture capital money for it. But this is ready to go. So I'm going to copy this link and I can paste it into another one right here. And here's our app that we've just created so quickly you can go and check it out yourself if you want to and it works and it's awesome so if we want to actually purchase a new domain as well so that our url is in santrail dash weight journey dash you know tracker dot lovable dot app we can purchase a new domain through lovable as well so we're gonna have to upgrade from the free plan to either the pro or the teams plan and with this you get 100 credits per month on the base plan so 100 credits we can go back and forth and talk to lovable a number of times with that it's certainly a lot cheaper than having to pay a developer that's for certain and then in there you can also have the ability to have custom domains as well and one more thing if we want to start making money with this we can just ask lovable to connect our stripe account and set up a paywall after seven days of use and then we're going to start charging people six dollars a month and so it's going to help us connect our stripe account we're going to give it our stripe secret key we're going to authenticate that and then set up the payment flow and it's handling all of it for us right so once it's says that I'm going to click on apply changes and then we're going to provide our Stripe secret key so that it can connect that and then it will take care of all that for us. So that's just another thing you can do. But basically anything you can possibly think of that you want to add in terms of functionality or features on this, you can just talk to it and it will build whatever you are thinking of. So one of the most important things though, is that in this environment where you have someone or AI that's building this out for you, you really need to think like a product person. And so I want to remind you to be as descriptive as possible of what you're looking for. Because one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is that they'll go to lovable.dev, which like I said, you should go to and do this right after this video, but they'll go to the website and they will enter in a prompt that is very vague and then they'll get something that they're not happy with. And so you need to be super descriptive. You need to think like a product manager where you are describing exactly what you want them to build right off the bat. Um, if you don't like something, you can tell them how to tweak it. So that's the basics of how to build this out. You can go ahead, check out lovable.dev uh, down below in the description. And if you have any questions, if you have any problems, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll save everybody sometime in a future video.